In today's Your Healthy Family, if women are having their annual mammogram sooner or later, chances are they're going to be told that calcifications have formed. Calcifications occur in the breast quite a bit, especially in women who are over the age of 50. Um, and most commonly, they're, they're benign. They're, they're associated with um, cystic change within the breasts or other benign changes. When calcifications first form, they're usually so small they can't be felt, but can be seen on a mammogram, which can sometimes prompt additional evaluation, usually beginning with another mammogram. We want to magnify those uh, to try to get a good look at them and compare with other prior examinations if those are available to see if there's been any change to determine if those calcifications are something that are just benign or if we're not sure and, and we need to go on to a biopsy to, to find out more specifically what's happening there. While most calcifications that appear on a mammogram are benign, those that need to be biopsied are to rule out a specific type of cancer. The thing that we're concerned about for calcifications that, that we can't definitively characterize as benign on a mammogram is what's called DCIS, that's ductal carcinoma in situ. That's basically the earliest form of breast cancer um, that we can detect. It's a non-invasive form of breast cancer. They refer to it as stage zero breast cancer. Obviously that's the, that's the stage of cancer that we wanna catch. And the mammogram is really the only way to, to see uh, calcified DCIS. It's another reason it is so important to have your annual mammogram. For your healthy family, Myra Cronin, more health stories, head to your healthy family.com.